It's my second video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Kick-Ass box set. No, I don't have the books in here. I don't. I just display the box on its own. I don't really like the books in there, but I do have the books in here. Sorry, Bella. In here. So, time to review them. Alrighty. So I'm gonna have to do this a little bit quicker than my other videos, but let's just go from in order. Now. Kick ass. This book is amazing. Story's great, and I um love this art. And I feel there were a couple really good plot twists in there. Uh one problem I feel is that Hit Girl didn't get fleshed out enough, but the last fight where they go uh to get Johnny G is amazing. I personally love these costumes more than the movie versions, but that's my personal opinion. Uh, overall, this is a great book, and it really sets the stage for what's to come. And I love the cartoony art. Uh, there are some panels that are so beautiful. I And I feel some of the art is a little half done and ham-fisted. But this is amazing. Alright. Let's go to... Hit Girl! Hate this movie cover. I would have loved to get the comic cover, but you can only get it in hardcover. And I'm not going to get hardcover because it would throw everything off. But this is the best out of the four. It has so many great scenes, and I just love it. Uh, I'd say my favorite scene is when the mobsters attack the house. And if you've read this, you know this is the best one. Uh, I would pick this up. If you have money to only pick up one of the Kick-Ass books, I know Kick-Ass 1 would be obviously the one um, to, to start with, but no, get this. I love it so much. Oh, it's so amazing, and it adds a lot of character to the character of Hit Girl. Um, it's a little bit shorter, and I wish it was 8 issues like Kick-Ass 2 and 3 and 1 are, but it's still so worth it. This was a big letdown. Um, after the amazing Hit Girl prelude to Kick-Ass 2, I would have thought this would be a lot better. It's definitely not bad, but I just didn't like it too much. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this. This is one of those where it could have been great, and it definitely is pretty good, but just didn't really live up for me. Let's get on to the big one, Kick-Ass 3. Great book. Um, I did have some problems with it, but overall the scenes with Hit Girl in the uh, prison were amazing. And the art is always good. Uh, the ending is kind of half-fisted. I liked it, but we don't get a fair reunion between Hit Girl and Kick-Ass like we did in the movie. Uh, Kick-Ass 2 wasn't a the movie wasn't a perfect movie, but at least it gave them a proper ending to say goodbye to each other, which this one, I feel, didn't have. But overall, this is the second best out of the series. Uh, the ending really got me pumped. Like, I felt like stuff was going down. Like, this was about to be the last stand. <laughs> I mean, when Kick-Ass said, like, I feel something bad is gonna happen, I felt it too, and I really thought the ending like the ending had my heart racing and then the scene spoilers where he saves hit girl and then when he is like do you forgive me when he's about to die i can't believe i'm saying this but it made me tear up for this crazy son of a gun everything about this was amazing and i thought it was a good end to the series so what would i rate this one i would rate this one um seven out of ten this one, a 5 out of 10. This one, a 10 out of 10. And this one, a 8 out of 10. The whole series is great. I would recommend buying the box set. You can get it for 20 bucks on Amazon if you look for a good seller. Uh, yeah, my favorite, of course, Hit Girl. Second favorite, Kick-Ass 3. Third favorite is Kick-Ass. Then fourth is second. Pick these up. I, I don't... 
uh, I don't really feel like the movie did it justice. They were really good movies, but I like the darker tone of these better. So, yeah, just pick it up right away, if you can find it for a good price. Lazy Studios, out.